What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I got a little bit of uh, breaking news, I guess. Uh, I mean, look, it's it's not really surprising, I guess, uh, from my perspective, but it is some news, uh, some updates on, um, you know, this whole situation going on right now with the pandemic and how, and as how it relates to, uh, you know, the NFL and how they're planning to open, et cetera, et cetera. So, let me get right into it. Uh, you know, it's an article I saw that just came across my alerts uh, from Yahoo Sports. And the NFL expects positive coronavirus cases among personnel as it presses forward with 2020 plans. We're going to pause just on the title because this is a flat out admission that they fully expect coronaviruses to pop up. And look, I'm going to say it right now. Hear me now, quote me later. No matter what they do, they will not be able to contain this thing. It is massively contagious, massively, massively, massively contagious, and far more deadly than even what is the official numbers are at this point. Because there is clear evidence in multiple cases with multiple countries around the world, including the United States, that uh, leadership um, in various places including florida uh, are intentionally hiding the numbers so that way people don't know what the actual uh facts are and look man like i said like i've been telling you guys i've been following this for a long time since it started since la first went on you know uh state emergency or, or city emergency whatever and this is it's this is a terrible terrible plan this is a terrible idea. <clears throat> they are not going to be able to control it. And this thing is going to get, it, it's just, it's going to be devastating. And look, I mean, you know, we talked about the other day, I, I read another article about how, you know, I mean, look, a lot of the staff is older, right? A lot of these team staff are comprised of older people, the coaches, right? In their 50s, 60s, sometimes 70s. And they are particularly susceptible to this shit. So, I, I mean, like, it's it's stunning i mean it's not really because i'm so used to this stuff from you know capitalism and from politicians and people in leadership because they don't care about people's lives they are perfect the nfl is admitting that they are perfectly fine with risking people's lives the players the coaches the stabs the the referees the cameramen the fans all of it they are perfectly fine with risking people's lives just so that way they can get uh the nfl going again and they can continue uh the 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 uh capitalist fucking machine uh that the nfl thrives on so it's it's disgusting anyway but let's go ahead and get through this article because man i've already said a lot and we have we just we we've only talked about the 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 fucking headline I, honestly though that is most of my um commentary on it because it's like i said it's just it's going to be a disaster they're not going to be able to control it <clears throat> anyway as nfl facilities across the united states began to open on tuesday which they did today they started opening the league sent a clear message as it prepares to reboot operations in the face of coronavirus fears Positive tests will be expected, and the NFL will have a plan to deal with it. And I'm sure they have some sort of fucking whatever, you know, but they're not going to be able to control it. It's absolutely absurd to think that they're going to be able to bring groups of people together, and people are going to catch it, and then not spread it, and then... I mean, it's... Okay, anyway. We fully well expect that we will have positive cases that arise because we think that this disease will remain endemic in society, said Jeff Miller, the league's executive vice president of communications, public affairs and policy. I'm sorry, got to stop again just real quick. If you think it's going to stick around for a while, which is what that means, uh, remain endemic in society, then maybe you should do it. Uh, or maybe you shouldn't uh, open up and get things, you know, uh, churning at full uh, uh, productivity or whatever, efficiency or, or, or full steam ahead, whatever, uh, until you have the testing, you have maybe, I don't know, a fucking vaccine for it. Uh, and you don't have fucking leaders that are just literally suppressing the information so people are just not even well informed about it. You know, so that they don't wear masks and they, they don't adhere to social distancing guidelines. And then, you know, you have the idiot fucking uh, 
uh, president saying that, you know, oh, I take hydroxychloroquine, you know, continuing to promote things that are proven to be deadly and ineffective. It's, it's, it's just a maelstrom of chaos and it's going to get far worse. And these people are fucking fools at, at, at the very least, if they think that they're going to be able to do this successfully at worst, they're just horrendous people that literally just don't give a fuck about risking people's lives which as far as i'm concerned they very much fall into that category anyway let me now just get through this so it shouldn't be a surprise that new positive cases arise our challenge is to identify them as quickly as possible and to prevent spread to too many other participants good fucking luck we're working very diligently on that and we'll have some detailed plans to share about that at a later time okay i mean training camps right around the fucking corner at this point i mean you better hurry the fuck up even though it's not even going to be adequate. It's not even going to be close, but okay. Miller's message indicates that as of now, the NFL is preparing to press forward even in the case of new infections once the 2020 schedule gets underway in training camps. Also, not only that, but what if you have to fucking quarantine guys for fucking weeks? Like, what, we, what if we get into the fucking middle of the season and people are catching it? Which will happen if they go on with this. And then you have to take out like key players because they have to be quarantined. None of this makes any fucking sense. Absolutely none of it. But it's all about the fucking profits, man. And making sure that the machine churns on. And the league will do so with testing measures and a yet to be unveiled plan on how to deal with new coronavirus infections. NFL watching other leagues coronavirus plans. Miller said a task force is working very diligently... Uh, to come up with a course of action, the NFL said on Tuesday that measures are expected to encompass virtually everyone involved with the league, from players, coaches, medical staff, support personnel, and seemingly everyone who has a day-to-day -day hand in franchise operations. But does that include referees? Does that include the the camera crews? It, you know, I, I mean, their plans for fans are absurd and not going to work. Like, so, I mean, okay, we're trying to take a thoughtful, data-driven approach. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm just calling bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. The only data you're looking at is how you guys can minimize losses here financially and get people going so that way you can fucking increase your profits again. Uh, 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 with an ongoing reevaluation at every stage and to preserve our ability to be able to be adaptable and to be flexible as knowledge expands and as we collect experience during these openings. Again, though, if you have people in control of the information putting out wrong information then even if you are you know um an innocent bystander in this whole process so to speak and you're just going based off of what you're told well you're still a fucking moron that will apparently include a studious eye on other professional sports leagues both domestically and abroad that are expected to get underway before the nfl's training camps open in the coming months miller said the nfl is working closely with a number of leagues to learn and adapt policies as new information comes in focusing on science and testing to guide the coming rollout and daily operations how's the testing program going in other leagues miller said what does the rate of new infection look like how do we handle new infections and new exposures what things can we learn about helping train and play and play safely that will translate to other aspects of play and other types of sports. We're all working together in this. This is not an issue on the NFL working in isolation. We're working very much together with the other pro sports leagues in North America and around the world in this. I mean, great, and they should, to their credit, uh, but I mean, it's, it's foolhardy. And it's to say that you expect it to happen and that you think that you're just gonna be able to control it is, is foolish to say the very least. The impact on summer training camps. None of this means the NFL is ready to deliver a defined timeline, of course. The league declined to put any hard dates on the ex uh, expansion of future operations. As it stands, limited personnel and rehabbing players are being allowed back into league facilities that qualify for opening under state and local guidelines. Florida is one of those states, even though they are not anywhere close to ready. And as I mentioned, there is actual evidence that they are clearly just suppressing the real data about the number of increased cases and fatalities um however no coaches are allowed at league facilities until all 32 franchises have been given the green light by their local governments to resume work until that happens it's expected the nfl will continue its virtual offseason program into the normal late june break 
Having said that though, we also know that, let's say for example, three of the Dolphins offensive linemen are going to an, uh, a little summit in Arizona because that's another one of the states that has relaxed their guidelines and are allowing other teams, uh, other states teams who haven't, uh, whose states haven't relaxed their guidelines to go there so they can potentially contract it and then spread it around, etc., etc. It's just a fucking mess. That means July training camps could be the first chance for teams to come together physically, although that could also be hindered if some hardline states, such as California, continue to, uh, to extend stay-at-home orders. And as of right now, we're expected to be uh, in that order for the next three months. But, I mean, and, and <clears throat> never mind. There also remains a very significant hurdle ahead of the league, grappling with the NFL Players Union, which will have to take part in any guidelines that impact its membership or put it at risk. The union has been very conservative about any comments regarding player safety and moving forward under the cloud of the coronavirus. But Cleveland Browns center newly elected union president J.C. Treader has indicated he believes it will be an extended period before player workouts resume in facilities. I think it is still a ways out, Treader told reporters Tuesday. Every place is not opened up quite yet. Obviously, the buildings are just starting to open up for non-football staff. I do not think we are there at this point. I think we continually just keep looking at what new information comes out. In the end, we just have to make good decisions and safe decisions. Again, this is constantly changing. That is what we continually see. Now, as the new areas open up and more people leave quarantine, we will be able to see what is going on and we will get more data points for that. Again, though, that's not even accurate. Uh, and I'm by no means blaming him because I think he is certainly far less culpable and I certainly believe that he is far less privy to uh, the actual information because, you know, the information that he gets, for example, or let's say, you know, the a lot of the NFL PA membership, i.e. the players, they probably get their, their news about this from the mainstream media, which a lot of them aren't even talking about it anymore. And then when you get, you know, uh, when, when you get report after report and, you know, surfacing about how different states and political leaders are literally suppressing the information, well, if you don't actually get, like, legit, true, factual data, then your evaluation and your plans and all of that is just going to be wrong. It's because it's not going to be, it, there's no way it can be right. It's impossible because you are leaving out massively important uh, contextual data points that that you just you absolutely anything. need to be able to make an informed decision on this kind of thing, and they're just not going to have that. So, at least not anytime soon, as it seems. Anyway, to finish this up, we have the I guess what you could call an advantage if we still have time before our season is projected to start. Yes, that's true, but that window is very rapidly closing and especially considering, you know, all the other factors that go into it that we've been talking about. I mean, you know, it's it, that that advantage is evaporating very quickly because of the, the projection on, we're on, you know, the arc that we're on. A lot of the other leagues are trying to figure this out right now and trying to piece it together and we still have time. I would not say we are at the point where we need to make an agreement. We are going to keep sitting back and making sure we make the right decisions for our players. And, you know, I mean, obviously they should. I would like to think that, you know, the further down you go the, on the ladder, the more they actually care about, um, you know, all of the players and, and keeping people safe. Whereas, you know, up the ladder at the leadership uh, level, you know, they just, they, they've proven not to give a shit. Anyway. So, I mean, that's some, some big news. Uh, to me, it's startling news uh, for, you know, things going forward. It, to me, that's not a good update that projects favorably for, you know, the outcome of the season or, I, I mean, fuck the season, man, for people's health, for, for you know, I, I mean, they, like I said, they just, they don't care. They're, they, they're admitting that they are perfectly fine with putting people's lives at risk just so they can get fucking and I mean football is it's entertainment it's not even like it's not even look I love football and entertainment certainly is important in life you got to be able to relax and veg out and and balance out from like the work and the stress and stuff but at the end of the day it's not food it's not you know a place to live like it it's not the power to your house it's not 
you know, the water to your faucet, right? Like it's not one of the basic necessities of life, but they, they just, they got to keep the, the, the capitalist machine churning and it's, it's gross. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoy my perspectives uh, and my videos. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section. And of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up, baby. Thank you.